So in this tutorial, we're going now to discuss how you can set up or change your current theme. This includes installing a new theme, setting up a previous theme, and even get in as far as the customization options of that particular theme that you've installed. Now, as part of this tutorial video, we may mention some points from our previous videos and some points from more videos to come. But the first thing we want to do is sign in to the WordPress dashboard. And again, to do this, follow our steps in the first video of the introduction in the WordPress, but simply log in and make your way to the dashboard area. Now straight from here, what you want to do first is go to your appearance. And within the appearance, you'll see a drop down of themes and just select themes. Once you're into the themes area, you will then see a list of the current themes that are installed within your WordPress installation. Now this does not mean that these themes are specifically active, it just means that they're installed under your WordPress dashboard. Now you can add many more themes along with using the free ones that come as default. Now for this example you'll see four themes, or five, um, with a custom build here. So the four themes you normally receive as default are the 20, 14, 15, 16 and 17 themes built by WordPress. Now the Bootstrap WP is a theme that we used as part of our template build but just ignore this for the purpose of the tutorial video. To add a new theme though, or to change it up, you can simply go to the add new theme button here, where you'll again, just like plugins, you'll come to a, a dashboard or a, almost like a store of, of WordPress. And simply what you can do here is view other themes that have been built. And when we say a theme or appearance, the theme is the overall appearance, style, and layout of a particular WordPress site. So for instance, what you're really looking for here is is not so much the, the particular image or the, the text, it's more so the layout and the structure, so the sidebar on the right here, the logo in the center, and this is what you're looking for, is the layout and the structure, not the individual content. So for instance, if we look at this one, we can, let's detail and preview. We can see it has a nice hero image in the center, two buttons for a call to action, and then a service target. And you can see here is the basic layout for a blog page. So again, very similar to what we've seen before. It's content, main hero image, blog post, and of course the widgets down the side along with the bottom footer. And we can work with this. We can see static pages. So if we look at the About Us page, for instance, we can see a static layout here, a very simple layout, but in exactly the same category. Just as another example, they have a parent page. And again, shows a very similar layout to see what could be done. So of course you can shop around, see exactly what looks the best for you, what looks the best for your website, and then go from there. For the example of this though, we'll have a look at Marvel here. We'll see what they're doing. So they're saying a super, super flat design and responsive. Again, a very nice layout, really well structured here. And um, we'll go for that. So once you're happy enough, you've decided you want to install and activate it. Firstly, click the install button. Wait a few seconds, and by the time it's finished installing, we can activate it and set it as the currently active theme. So exactly the same as before, once it's finished installing, simply click the activate button and this will set that theme to be the primary theme installed on your site. Now one good thing to look after here is tooltips. Um, and there's a few things here you can get started, welcome to their documentation, learn a bit more about the developers of the theme and how it was set up, but also some plugins that are required. It's a crucial feature to do this because if you dismiss this or you don't install these particular widgets in this case, you may be missing crucial or core elements of this theme. Simply just follow the links and the instructions provided depending on the theme you install. Again, this will be different for every user or anyone else who builds their own theme or chooses a different theme again. So now that your theme's been installed and activated, your plugins have already been installed and activated too, we now want to customize this theme. Now as part of our last video, we talked about the customization options and the different steps to take, but just to run you through or walk you through how a developed theme or a published theme may be slightly different. So before we went through all these options, but one of the new options here is theme options, which wasn't originally there before. And what we can do within theme options is open this up and we can see a brand new list of how the site is structured and you can change different variants here. So the general styling, we'll talk about a preloader. And again, anything you're not sure about, do email us, do get in contact with Profile Tree here um, and ask us any questions and we can certainly help. But a preloader is something that you would see whenever the website is loading, you have a small spinner or some form of animation to provide just until the website loads rather than looking at a white screen or content not being produced. You can disable the sticky menu and what that is simply for is if you have a menu at the top of the screen, as you scroll down, this would stay 
with the build itself. Of course, changing this will give you different options. So for instance, at the moment, there's no menu that follows. You can also make a box without website. So this website here is referred to as a full width website, but you can make a box menu and you add a, an image or some form of decoration to the rear just to add a bit more styling to it. But there's plenty of options. You can change the layout as well. You can add a slider or a widget onto the right hand side. So lots of options. And again, every theme is different. So don't be expecting all these to be the same on every theme that you look at. So do remember to go through these. You can change the typography. And as you see, this is where WordPress really opens up when you start installing themes, when you start installing widgets and plugins, is when you st finally get the, the full potential of where Word WordPress will give you a lot more flexibility. Up until now, we've been going through very basic features and fundamentals of the WordPress installation, but now that is where it starts, and we can go into different WordPress themes and start reviewing them. So stay tuned for more, but what we're going to do next is start going through individual themes, from free themes to premium themes, where we'll be able to advertise and let you know more about what's currently on offer at the moment, both giving you a premium option, which will give you a bit more flexibility, a few more customization options, and again, just like this as well, at Marvel, where you can see a free option that'll still give you enough content and enough control to style and choose your own site. Now, as you'll see here, everything still continues the same, so your posts, your content, your pages will remain exactly the same. So don't be afraid to install and try new themes. What you do need to be careful though is if you install a new theme, any decision in terms of the styling and the layout and the structure may change. So be careful about this and how you obviously build your own site. So if you've been working on a theme for quite a while, you've made it the way you like it and then you decide to change it, you may lose those changes when you create and activate a new theme. So just be aware of that. But again, any questions you may have for us, do email us at profile tree or comment below, and we'll certainly get in touch and try and help you out as quick as we can. But up until now, if you do have any problems or any issues, do let us know. But other than that, happy building and enjoy your WordPress theme.